If you've always wanted a dually, now's your chance. Hey everyone, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com and today is a pretty special unboxing and first run of the brand new Sen Racing F450 SD. Now, of course, that is their newest one-tenth skill. Four-wheel drive, solid axle, custom truck. This is based, of course, on the Ford F450 Dually and this thing has a lot of features, so let's just jump into it. Now, when you first look at the box here from the Sen Racing product. There are a lot of brand partners. Now, of course, the first biggest one is Ford Trucks. So you do have an officially licensed product from Ford. American Force uh, is actually the wheels that are licensed on this vehicle. You do have Fury tires, and you have a couple other things from the RC world, including Hobby Wing Electronics, as well as Savox. And just to point out a couple of the features here, once again, 110 scale, four wheel drive, solid axle, and it is a full RTR that's inside of this box here. So pretty much ready to run, just have to add your own batteries. It is four wheel drive, and it does include a 2.4 gigahertz radio system. Now this will be available in two different colorways. The blue galaxy that I'll be showing you today has the silver wheels on it. And of course the gray titanium. I also have one of those bodies on hand as well. And that comes with those red wheels. Now there's no mistaking this is a 110 scale, but this is pretty large considering it is a dually truck. So this thing is quite long. I'll be doing some measurements later as well as comparing it to some real world vehicles I have here at the studio. Now of course this is a ladder frame design, has linkage as far as all of the suspension, solid axles, and we'll get into all of that when I pull it out of the box. As far as some of the other specs, of course, I did mention a 2.4 gigahertz radio system. It does have a Hobby Wing 40 amp waterproof 1040 brushed ESC. It does have front and rear sway bars included and already installed. Stamp steel shock hoops on this vehicle. You do have an all steel geared transmission that does have a flip flop system. So you can actually flip flop whether it's in high or low gear just by turning a few screws. There is a three link with pan hard on both ends of the this vehicle, more on that a little bit later. You do have a chassis mounted servo, big bore oil filled adjustable shocks, and like I said earlier, all metal gears throughout. Before we get to the start of the show, let's go over some supplement items that come inside the box. And just a reminder, mine was a pre-production sample, although this is a full production vehicle version. I'm missing a couple of supplement items like the owner's manual, but I'll have a link down in the video description so you can check out this vehicle for yourself. Starting with information on flipping the transmission gear to go from high to low gear, specific info on the electronics that's included in this RTR, a bag of included tools to work on your RC, some pre-cut Sen Racing decals, some American Force decals, and finally the 2.4 gigahertz radio system. Now the AMP 30 radio system is not a whole lot to write home about, but it gives you all of the functions you'd want in an RTR remote, including a power switch, a function button, a third channel button. You do have all of your trim levels on the far side of the wheel, including forward, reverse, left and right in a very different configuration that I've seen in the past. At the very top of the wheel, you do have a dual rate for your steering and finally a rubber wheel right here to get you going. On the bottom side, you will have to supply your own four AA batteries, although it only looks like two, the other two slide in down the line. And finally, the Sen Racing Ford F450 Dually. This thing is pretty amazing to look at. First off, it is a direct replica of a Dually truck from Ford. I mean, the blue color is obviously what caught my eye the most. I love that deep, dark, midnight blue color. And this is a truly painted body. Uh, it actually is painted from the factory in this great metallic blue color. You guys know I'm a big fan of blue vehicles and this this thing definitely has a soft spot in my heart. Now everyone knows that dualies these days can literally hit the $100,000 mark, especially when you have it optioned out. Now another cool feature are these wheels. I, I just quickly checked the specs of these wheels and in 110 scale, these are 2.8 inch diameter wheels, which equates to a 28 inch wheel. And I just looked up a quick pricing on that. There's literally $12,000 worth of wheels on this truck if it were one-to-one. 
Now, aside from just admiring the looks of this thing, and of course the dually wheel in the back, this is a true dually wheel. They actually made it exactly like the one-to-one -one truck, the actual two wheels bolt together. I'll show you those things up close a little bit later, but this thing just looks completely amazing, especially when you have it in person. Now, with more of a bird's eye view, let's go over some of the features of the body. Now, of course, you do get those cool molded plastic inserted parts, like those huge mirrors and the the windshield wipers. It just adds for a nice scale detail. Now the body is two parts. You actually have a bed section and you do have a cab section. They're bolted together from the underside and you do have a decent amount of drop bed. About a good inch it drops into the bed and it just gives you that great scale realistic look. Switching over to the platinum gray with the red wheels. This body does not have any bumpers attached to the actual chassis. It's molded into the actual body. So you do have a rear bumper back here and also a large front bumper. They're painted the same color as the body, which is a little bit of a bummer. Usually those are pretty much chromed out on these higher spec trucks. Now, as far as the actual dually section right here where the two wheels are, they do stick out quite a bit further than the flared fenders here you'd find on a traditional F450. Now, I'm not sure if that is just a scale detail because these wheels and tires are so much larger than a stock version. Uh, these are quite huge. I mean, like I said earlier, 28 inch scale size of wheels, so 2.8 inch. So I'm not sure if that goes into factor there, but nonetheless, they do stick out a little bit about a good three quarters of an inch past the fenders. Now, Sen Racing just outdid themselves with all of the scale decals, including the F450, the whole front grille, which has kind of like that Raptor look to it. You do have lots of LED lighting on the front of this vehicle and the tow hitches and that kind of stuff. Now, the big bummer about this body is they actually painted over the windows from the underside and used decals. Although it does look good in the scale world, having clear windows is just priceless. You can add interiors and that kind of thing down the line, but I know what they're going after for the RTR market, but it would have been cool if they left those things clear on the underside for the other half of the crowd. All right, so let's talk wheels and tires. Now, these are both officially licensed. Of course, American Force on the wheels and Fury on the tires. Very nice kind of all-terrain look to the tires. Super low profile. Not sure I'd want that in an actual off-road truck, but nonetheless, it does look cool. Now, the American Force wheels, like I said earlier, those are like $12,000 wheels if you add all six up in this configuration from American Force in the one-to-one -one segment. Now, they do have a pretty cool little cap right here that just comes off with two screws. I was a little bit worried about that, but as I looked into it, I found that out. If you remove just two side screws in accordance to the decal right here, you can actually remove the cap and then get to the wheel nut underside. So a very quick feature, and it does give you that scale look. Now with one set of wheels and tires taken off the truck, you can see right here on the front wheel, it has that flared look right there. So these are true dually wheels. You can actually bolt these together as we'll see in the rear. On the underside, we do have a 12 millimeter hex adapter that's inside of there. And of course, that's a look with the cap off. With those two screws right there is what holds that cap on. Moving to the rear is where all the magic happens. And of course, that is the bolted design right there, just held together with those 10 screws on the inside. Pretty cool design that they replicated that in a RC truck. Uh, I gotta say that is pretty cool. And of course, you do have the hex adapter on this one. This one actually is set a little bit further in. So you can definitely tell the difference between the front wheels in the back other than just having an extra wheel and tire attached to it. Taking a quick measurement of the F450 from Sen Racing, this thing measures in right past 27 inches and that's from bumper to bumper. So this thing is definitely large. Now as far as a wheelbase measurement, and that's measuring in right under 17 and a half inches as far as the wheelbase. So quite a long chassis on this rig. Now, I know I'll get the question, but the rear width is measuring in right under 12 inches, probably 11 and three quarters from end to end on the tires on the rear side. And flipping it to the front side, this thing measures in right about nine and a half inches in width. Taking off the body reveals the chassis, and there's some pretty cool features on this chassis, although it is very simple. Now, starting up here in the very front, you do have a foam bumper just to protect the body, so you don't have a cave in, so it's a pretty nice feature. And moving back, you do have a very unique sway bar here. I was pretty impressed with this just coming out of the box. Hadn't seen a design like this before, especially on the front. You have that both front and rear, so it's a pretty cool design. 
design. Of course, you do have solid axles on both front and rear of this vehicle, and you do have a chassis mounted servo. Now, the servo is mounted up high there on the chassis, and it's in a horizontal position. Now, this is a three link with pan hard, which is the appropriate way to do a CMS system, and you do have all metal links on this vehicle. They appear to be either stainless or aluminum. I can't quite tell. Now the actual chassis is a stamped steel design and there's multiple pieces to this, so it might be somewhat adjustable. There's a center section and two end sections of this chassis. And a nice feature on this thing is it does have metal steel stamped shock hoops, which is a pretty cool design, very scale looking as well. Now the shocks are all plastic bodied, but they're oil filled, have a pretty nice spring rate, I've got to say out of the box, and they do feel well dampened as well. Now taking a look at the underside of the chassis on the front, here we are seeing that solid axle pretty normal design that we've seen in other vehicles but i am seeing a similar design i've seen in kind of one tenth scale buggy type of drive shafts here they're kind of like a dog bone design going into like a coupler here so a little bit different than we've seen in some of the scale rigs and you'll find that on both the front drive shaft the center drive shaft and all the way back to the rear drive shaft now peeking here on the underside for the transmission is a metal steel stamp skid plate so a pretty nice thing that you'd find not in any other rig so it's nice that they did make that out of metal and then throughout you have all different types of plastic braces going throughout the chassis right here just keeping everything together you have to remember this thing is quite long sticking with the components of the vehicle the transmission is just a pretty normal three gear transmission with that flip-flop gear that you can actually flip it from a low speed to a high speed now of course high speed you'll have more high-end speed on the vehicle low speed you'll have a little bit more torque on the vehicle. It took me about five minutes to actually flip those gears. It was pretty easy and I didn't have the instructions at the time so had a little bit of a learning curve. Now back towards the rear of the vehicle we do have a battery tray that's mounted quite far back but since this isn't really a scale crawler I think this can get away with having the battery way in the back. Now we're seeing a lot of the same features we saw on the front like the steel stamped shock towers, the same size of shocks on the rear. We do have that nice sway bar and something that I haven't seen in a rear of a scale vehicle is a three link suspension with a pan hard mount. So not sure if they ever meant for this to be like a four wheel steer situation, although I haven't seen that in a dually before. And then finally looking at the very rear of the vehicle, you can kind of see that kind of scale detail on the very back of the chassis there. You have a tow hitch insert right there. And of course that great sway bar that I may steal off of this thing for another build or maybe order another one in. Now a quick mention on the differentials, although I haven't taken them apart yet, they are open differentials. So there's not a locked system on this truck at all. Although there is going to be a locker available down the line. It doesn't feel like there's anything inside of those diffs. So not much for any kind of fluid. It feels pretty free spinning, both the front and the rear here. As far as electronics, it's a trio of well-known names. Starting with the servo, it's actually branded from Savox, has 12 kilograms of torque and a transit speed of 0.23 seconds. So not the fastest or the most high torque servo, but you have to remember this is an on-road vehicle. The ESC is from Hobbywing has 40 amps and a built-in LiPo cutoff. It comes complete with a Dean's Connect so you can hook up your favorite 2S or 3S lithium polymer battery. Finally, you do have a brushed motor. This is a 550 sized Mabuchi motor. I didn't see any specs as far as the turn on this, but it appears to be a little bit quick out of the box. So I'll have that in the running video here soon. And just so you can have an idea on the size comparison, of course, the Sen Racing F450 on on the left and I have a Traxxas TRX4 Sport on the right hand side there. For the running video today, I ended up running this Adventure Series from Jens Ace. Now this is a 3600 milliamp shorty pack. It is a 3S LiPo, so 11.4 volts because it's a lithium high voltage. Now the 50C discharge rate gave me plenty of power. I ended up getting about 25 minutes of runtime, which was pretty good in between filming and everything else. And the small size of it kept the weight down and the horsepower high.
that is my first look and first run at the brand new Sen Racing F450. <laughs> this thing is pretty cool, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about this vehicle. Do you like the blue one or the platinum one? Put that down in the comment section. Also, let me know what you would do with a vehicle like this. Is this something that you would try and rock crawl with maybe eventually down the road, or is this just like an on-road thing? Is this something that you would actually use to pull maybe one of your vehicles, like a drift car or maybe a scale truck? Let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted anytime I upload a video. And finally, my name is Rich. Thanks for watching.